Hello everyone, Desert Gold. Uh, another lazy Wednesday afternoon. Got a new Weber grill yesterday and got that put together and got some stuff on the initial fire up going on there outside. Hopefully it'll all stay in the grill this time. Looking good though. Thought I'd uh, bring you up to date on uh, my solar chargers. Um, I'm a big fan of solar. I like um, anything that has to do with not interacting in a detrimental way to the environment using renewable uh, energy sources as much as possible. We're killing this planet slowly but surely and we need to do everything we can to keep from having it proceed or progress any further. So, um, my latest adventure um, is a waterproof survival kit and iPhone charger. Um, through my course of uh, videos on different Altoid charging devices and um, emergency kits, I've had numerous questions on, regarding them. And the three most popular questions are, how do I build them? Where can I get directions? Secondly, are they for sale? Where can I buy them? And third, probably buying for second, is the uh, question or actually statement that says or talks about waterproofing these. I should really learn to find a way to waterproof them. That would be the final step in what a lot of people consider uh, all around kit. This was my first what I call a medium-sized survival kit. Um, it's uh, got a 30, 3,700 milliamp battery in there. Uh, six volt, one and a half. I'm sorry. Yeah, a nine volt, 1.5 watt solar panel. Um, in this, it, let me bring it in just a little bit here. This one I had the charging light or status light and you have your ports for USB and uh, 12 volt charging and an on off switch. Inside was plenty of room still with, even with the charging circuits to start loading it up with survival. But one problem is obviously with the penetration of the dry box, you lose the water proofing. So, I decided to take it to the next level, and here it is. This is what I consider a complete, all-around, very portable solar generator survival kit iPhone charger and the panel on top is again 9 volt 1.5 watt and there you see on the outside is the waterproof boot that I mounted in the case there you have the opening for the USB cable to plug in so you can charge your USB, uh, iPhone, or like I said, GPS, any, anything that will charge off of a 5 volt boosted circuit. So let's see what's, let's see what's inside this thing and then we'll, we'll go into the 
building process. This one is pretty well packed also. So we have in the lid an SOL survival kit. I'll zoom in. You can see SOL put a really nice, very portable kit together here. You know, safety whistles, fishing kit, uh, duct tape, um, tender wicks, uh, fire, uh, waterproof matches, sewing kit, thread, uh, signaling mirror, signal, uh, safety whistle, aluminum foil, all sorts of things that you see in a normal um, survival kit, all in one nice little convenient package that packs into the lid of this uh, box. Also I added a uh, emergency blanket. Um, help provide some uh, heat retention in a cold environment, uh, unanticipated cold environment I might have. Um, first aid Got uh, band-aids, uh, antiseptic wipes, um, triple antibiotic ointment, um, antihistamines, loratadine for diarrhea. Just small, compact, little um, first aid. Got the. Uh, so it's multi-tool, you remember that from my previous video, excellent, excellent, well-built multi-tool that packs very conveniently in this small environment. Uh, we, we have the uh, CRKT knife, I am really surprised at uh, how sharp this little guy is and how well it maintains its edge. Very, very reasonable price for a very well made product. And then since, as you know in the past, I uh, mounted the um, LED light on the outside of the box, I didn't have the ability to do that to maintain waterproofing, so I included a Phoenix Right. It's about 150 lumens in a small little pen light. Very, very well made. Solid aluminum case. Very well. So, there you have it the case here you have battery mounted I went with a 3200 milliamp hour battery on this one to pick up a little more space in the case for more equipment and you can see the charge controller mounted in the lid so rather than go through the building process I'll answer questions that have been post, posted on my uh, comments and PM on how to build this via a sequence of pictures and that way you don't have to listen to my boring monotone voice. Um, so there you have it. This is a complete one-of-a-kind solar-powered survival kit and iPhone charger all in one. It can be done. Alright, I'm gonna just throw up some pictures here and take you through the little journey um, on the building of this box and then uh, you guys have a great weekend. Have fun, be safe. Desert Gold out.